What you are about to see is a nuclear war simulation based on data collected and processed from the International Atomic Energy Agency, the United Nations, information publicly available from the Central Intelligence Agency, and other declassified sources. The purpose of this simulation is to provide a visualization of the global consequences of a nuclear war between the Russian Federation and state members of NATO. Even though simplified to a great degree, it shows in a clear and realistic way the outcome of a nuclear war. Based on recent geopolitical events, the software used on this simulation has considered Russia to be most likely to begin a nuclear war. Time is accelerated to simplify the viewing of the events, and they are divided into three stages, nuclear war, nuclear fallout, and nuclear winter. Simulation ready. Declassified mode activated. For context, population of nations engaged at war. NATO member states have 944 million people. The Russian Federation has 145 million people. Stage 1, Nuclear War. Elapsed time. 1 hour. 2 hours. 3 hours. 4 hours. 5 hours. 6 hours. 7 hours. 8 hours. 9 hours. 10 hours. 11 hours. 12 hours. 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours, 17 hours, 18 hours, 19 hours, 20 hours, 21 hours, 22 hours, 23 hours, 24 hours. Total global casualties at 178 million people. Losses of nations engaged at war. NATO member states have lost 9.1% of their total population. The Russian Federation has lost 62.9% of its total population. Stage 2, nuclear fallout. Elapsed time. 3 days. 6 days. 9 days. 12 days. 15 days. 18 days. 21 days. 24 days. 27 days, 30 days. Maximum radiation levels recorded, shown by degrees of latitude, in REM units. Total global casualties at 186 million people. Stage 3, nuclear winter. Elapsed time. 2 months. 3 months. 4 months. 5 months. 6 months. 7 months. 8 months, 9 months, 10 months. Minimum temperature recorded, shown by degrees of latitude, in Celsius degrees. Total global casualties at 548 million people. End of the simulation. Stand by. Conclusions. During the stage of nuclear war, only the engaged nations were affected directly, and casualties were limited to military facilities and cities targeted as part of tactical and retaliatory attacks. On this first stage, we saw the highest number of deaths, in the shortest amount of time. During the stage of nuclear fallout, irradiated material in the form of dust was carried by wind currents to every corner of the planet, causing deaths related to radiation sickness, and setting the stage for a nuclear winter. Deaths in this period increased relatively slowly. During the stage of nuclear winter, the presence of dust in the atmosphere dropped temperatures worldwide, causing mass deaths of plants, animals and people, who could not adapt. Mass famine during this period resulted in the largest amounts of deaths for the entire nuclear conflict. The conclusion of this simulation is that no country on Earth will be safe in the event of a nuclear war. The policy of mutually assured destruction is truly mad, and we must push forward initiatives to avoid the proliferation of nuclear weapons, and to reduce existing arsenals. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to show your support to all the effort I put into making this simulation, please leave your like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. You are welcome to subscribe, and thanks again for watching.